Hey guys, we are here at Ayetawa Para. Um, I just followed my husband out to his old house. Uh, there's a lot by the side that is, uh, you know, full with uh, vegetables and fruit plants like durian, cepada, mangosteen. And the main reason I'm here is to get this uh, plant called Murungge. I tried the other day when my mother-in-law cooked this delicious and the best thing is it's a plant that detox your body okay when you eat it you can poo poo <laughs> a lot <laughs> and clear your digestive system la. so it's really good that is mangosteen and that is durian tree this one this one mango tree mango tree Okay, so Moringe in English is called Moringa. This time, we are just focusing on Moringa leaves. So this is what I found in Google. Moringa leaves have 7 times more vitamin C than oranges and 15 times more potassium than bananas. Well, potassium is a kind of mineral that helps your body muscle works. This tree. Okay. It's not very big, but basically it's a tree. La. Side track a bit, so we are now plucking calamansi mm. ataupun lima kasturi. And then we also have champada around the lot. I got a bag full of it here. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to cook it. Let's go back. Hey guys, so these are the Murungge leaves that I have left it out for one day pack it yesterday so we need to leave it for one day in a plastic bag like like so the reason I'm doing so is because it is easy to just take the leaf and uh, leave out the branch okay okay I'm gonna clean the leaves and then put it in a plastic bag and put it in the fridge yeah after a day in the plastic bag the moringa leaves are easily slide off the branch using only fingers like so Doing this is kind of therapeutic for me actually. It's quite fun. And when I'm ready to cook it, I just take it out from the fridge that I put in plastic bag and then rinse it with water for 2-3 times like this. This time, I'm showing you the easiest way to stir fry moringa leaves and it's super delicious too. Only 4 ingredients you need. First first, heat up some oil and then put in chopped shallots. I'm using 2 shallots because I like my stir fry moringa leaves to be a little bit sweet. Stir fry it until it's soft. Add in 
some dry chilies I already soaked these dry chilies and they seed them so it's up to you whether you want to put a lot or little for me I just put four or five dried chilies for me it's just nice and then I put in the moringa leaves take your time in putting in all the moringa leaves because it does take time to cook when it's cooking you will see it starts to shrink When it's shrinked about half the size, that's when you put in grated coconut Kelapa parut Ha! And then keep stir frying it The grated coconut portion is up to your likings, okay? Iko suka to you And then you can add a bit of salt to taste And then you shake, 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 you shake it And it's done! Ha, kan dah kata easy leh. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me at my Instagram at Jinbin Studio. Happy cooking!